Hidden in this pile is a type of diaper that has never been field tested on my channel. Will you discover them? Admittedly, it's not an easy task. At the time of this video, there are around 60 different diapers that I've tested. If you've been around for a while, you'll have noticed how the pile has grown to four towers by now, as they've gotten too tall and would otherwise fall over. A little hint, it's a diaper with a new outer material. Do you see it now? No? Then I recommend you a free subscription to my channel, so that you are always up to date about all tests and news about diapers. I'll solve the mystery. This is where the Kiddo Teddy's Ultra has been hiding. This diaper has several special features, the biggest of which I wanted to point out. It is made of cotton, that is, an outer material similar to the fabric you know from clothing. Among ABDL diapers, this is a niche. This corresponds not only to my personal experience, but also to a survey among you. More than 80% prefer diapers with plastic foil on the outside. Therefore, a large part of the diapers are also made of foil, with a few exceptions like the Teddy's Ultra. It relies on bears as the main motif, which is quite popular. There is a large bear at the front of the adhesive area. At the top, it has a striped border, which also seems to be getting more popular. Inside, there are the much higher side cuffs you're used to from ABDL diapers, compared to many medical diapers. They are meant to prevent leakage, especially when the diaper is fuller. It also gives you room to put booster pads inside as an absorbent pad to increase absorbency. At the back of the buttocks is again a larger colorful motif printed. Between the legs there are dots on the surface and blue-green stripes on the edge. An interesting gimmick is the 8 printed on the top of the butt. Children's diapers usually have the size written there. 8 is the largest for many, but this one is obviously not designed for kids, so it's much longer and wider. You can also see the second feature I talked about at the beginning now, it only has two glues. So one per side, instead of the usual two adhesives per side on most ABDL diapers. This is to make it look similar to children's diapers, which have always had only one adhesive per side instead of two. Since it is Velcro, you can reseal it as many times as you want, so far that works without any problems. Initially, I thought that with two instead of four glues, the closing should go easier, because there are only half as many. In practice, I found it more difficult, although the glues are wider than the individuals in other diapers. About as wide as if you had the two separate glues together on top of each other in other diapers. However, they are not wide enough for the entire side wing. A large portion of the side wing is over the adhesive and stays loose. This bothers me because it makes the diaper feel loose and I don't think it fits properly. Since there is only one adhesive per side, that leaves only two options. If you place the glue more diagonally down, the side wings are a little less loose. But in return, the front end of the diaper will be looser and sometimes fold over when worn. If the adhesives are straight, it is better in the front, but looser on the side wings. The Junior Plus also sat a little looser, felt the fit was a little better there. Slightly slanted instead of straight still seems to work best of the two options. From a purely visual standpoint, the diaper actually looks like Pampers or other children's diapers in large, so it fits teens and adults without issue. Before we look at results of the suction performance in everyday life, first to the store where these diapers and also others from Kiddo are sold, there is also something for you. It is sold by Diaper Minister, who provided it to me for the test, thanks for that. If you don't know Diaper Minister yet, the large store from Europe has specialized in products for ABDL. There is an extensive range of currently almost 100 different diapers, which you can sort by different criteria. For example, with foil or cotton outside, depending on what you prefer. In addition to the Lil Soaker, there are also many other diapers that I have tested in my previous videos and accessories such as boosters, creams or protective mats for the bed. Also worth a look are the numerous other things from the ABDL section. In addition to pyjamas and pacifiers, for example, various bodysuits are offered, both cute printed and plainer. If you like childish printed underpants, you'll find plenty to fit adults at Diaper Minister. The same goes for some other clothing items, dungarees, t-shirts, caps like the Peak ABU cap, and more. I've ordered there several times for over a year. You can see one of them in my video from October 2022, it came discreetly packaged like all the others so far. You can check it out for yourself at diaper-minister.com. Use the coupon code, WINDELTV 10 inches to get 10% off the entire assortment, with no minimum or maximum order. You can find the links in the video description. Let's continue with the practical test. 
the empty diaper weighs 198 grams, making it one of the lightest. Comparable to a peak abu, it weighs 194 grams. The highest weight of the full diaper was just over 1.7 kilograms. The rest of the results were pretty mixed. Sometimes it was only a good 1.5 kilograms, once it even started leaking after around 1.3 kilos. Let's start with the best result. The 1.7 kilograms is good average, minus the weight of the diaper itself, which equates to an effective suction of about 1.5 liters. Far from a new record, but in everyday life that is certainly enough for many. Unfortunately, I cannot draw a direct comparison with the Kiddo Junior Plus, which also have two adhesives in total and thus one per side. The Junior Plus test is older, at that time I did not weigh the diapers. If you would be interested in a comparison, write it in the comments, then I'll catch up in a separate video. Negative I found the many lower results. It happens with every diaper times that it sits a little worse and therefore runs out clearly before. Especially in the beginning, when it is a new diaper, whose fit you do not yet know so well. This is normal. With the Teddy's Ultra, however, this happened remarkably often, even in the later course of the test. With the Lil Soaker, which is also new, this was much less often the case, as it was with many others in the test. I think this is related to the loose fit I showed at the beginning. With a BDL diapers, a total of four adhesives and thus two per side have prevailed, because you can fix the diaper optimally to the body. If you stick a sheet of paper to the wall, it works best with at least four adhesive strips, one in each corner. You can also use only two pieces. But then the sheet will always flutter, either at the sides, if the two glues are applied only above and below. Or just at the top and bottom, if you glue it to the sides. The same problem seems to exist with adult diapers. Children's diapers are not so much affected by this, because they are much smaller and also have to withstand less. One adhesive strip per side is enough there. Price-wise, a pack of 10 costs 32, 90 euros, so one costs 3, 29 euros. This can be seen from two sides, from a pure price-performance ratio of all diapers considered, this is expensive. There are some alternatives that offer more suction and cost significantly less. For example, the Lil Soaker from the same brand, or Critter Caboose, if you prefer rears. If you consider the niche of ABDL diapers with cotton, and possibly even the second niche of modern Pampers fans, this diaper is even relatively cheap. Cotton diapers are significantly more expensive than foil, the best known being Little Kings for just under 4 euros each. For these niches, the diaper is interesting. Visually and in terms of feel, the Teddy's Ultra comes close to the newer Pampers with cotton. The Junior Plus, on the other hand, is more of a retro Pampers for those who like an adhesive, but not cotton as an outer material. This is also comparatively new with the Pampers, for decades they also had foil on the outside, just like many ABDL diapers today. A few years ago, I had a medical diaper with a textile-like surface that felt very uncomfortable to my taste, so I tried to get rid of the remnants on classified ads. In comparison, the Kiddo Teddy's Ultra seems less hard and thus more comfortable as well as higher quality. Personally, I thought the outer material was fine for cotton. As soft as foil diapers, however, it is not, who prefers foil, will probably not be happy here. I would recommend this diaper only for those who want the look and feel of a newer Pampers or comparable children's diapers are paramount. For this you have to accept the corresponding price and a less than optimal fit. For everyone else, the Teddy's Ultra has more disadvantages than advantages and there are some alternatives. One current one is the Lil Soaker from the same manufacturer Kiddo, which was mentioned briefly earlier. It stands out with a new design that has not been seen before. Instead of cotton, it uses foil, a total of four adhesives so two per side, and is significantly cheaper at two euros and 39 cents per diaper. If you want to try the Teddy's Ultra or Lil Soaker, you can use my Diaper TV 10 inches coupon to order them from Diaper Minister. This will make them all significantly cheaper again, including the Teddy's Ultra. However, the coupon is valid on all other products. Personally, I was not convinced by the Teddy's Ultra. Probably because I do not belong to the target group. For me, a diaper is about comfort and absorbency, it must be practical in everyday life and best of all a beautiful design. The fact that it looks exactly like newer children's diapers is not important to me. Now I am curious about your opinion. Write in the comments what you think of the Teddy's Ultra, if you want to test it or maybe you have already tried it. In any case, stay dry. Until the next video.